So you understand how search engines work. You understand how AdSense works. You now understand how you need to be writing your blogs. So what do you do now? Well, you have no blog on the internet yet, which is fine. We're going to talk about that a little bit later. But let's talk about playing around with WordPress a little bit. Let's change the way it looks and feels. Right now, I am actually at the control panel of the website that we created, the blog we created. It's my first blog, the local hosted one. And on the left-hand side, what I want you to do is I want you to select the drop-down for appearance and then select themes. Now, the theme page is how WordPress manages how your website looks and feels. And by default, you get the current theme, the 2010 1.1 by WordPress team. So I'm going to show you today how to install your own theme so you can actually choose your own layout. And uh, I want you to keep in mind while you're doing this that uh, whatever theme you decide to use, you should probably stick with in the long run, but you can install multiple themes and play around with them. That's a great thing about playing with this offline before you go live with your website. So I went ahead and Googled WordPress themes, and the first page that came up, or one of the first ones, was this WordPressThemesBase.com. I'm going to go ahead and download this one called Stripey, and I'm going to select the download button here. It's got decent reviews, four out of five stars. So let me go ahead and download this, and I'm going to show you how to install it and enable it on your website. And this is one of the, the most fun things to do with WordPress, so I'm, I'm looking forward to showing you this. Back at my uh, dashboard, I'm going to select Install Themes here in the upper, um, upper middle, and uh, it'll bring me to the Theme Installer, okay? On the left-hand side, I want to click Upload since I just downloaded a theme, and I'm going to select Choose File. And I'm already on my desktop, so let me scroll down to Stripey. That's the one I just downloaded, and click Install Now. See how difficult this is? And then it's installed. So one cool thing, too, about WordPress is you can actually preview this theme before you even enable it for your site. But check it out. My first blog, just another WordPress site, and how to make search engine friendly first blog post. Everything is literally, all my posts and everything are already up to date on the new visual reflection of the theme. Now some things work a little differently, of course, see the bolded lists look different than normal, the caption isn't centered, so there's certain things that themes might change that you don't like and certain things that they might change that you do like, and changing your theme might may mean going back through your posts and modifying the way you did things so that it looks right. So let me go ahead and press the X in the upper left hand corner to close the preview. I'm going to select activate to enable my theme. And that's going to activate it for my local site. And now I'm currently using Stripey 1.6 by Anonymous. In the upper left-hand corner, I'm going to go ahead and load my blog and see how it looks. And here we have my first blog in the completely pretty layout. So I just chose a random theme from a random uh, WordPress, uh, WordPress theme site. And I installed it and I activated it. And that's pretty much all there is to this video. I wanted to show you guys how to do this. So go out there, go theme hunting, find one that suits your style. If you're talking about technology, it should be technology related. If you're being a professional blogger about business, it should be business. If it's sports, you can find sports themes. There's thousands of WordPress themes out there for you to play with. So go out there and find one, upload it, and uh, start playing around with it. And this is going to help you. And remember, right now you should be generating content. Start making posts. Uh, make a few a day or every once in every couple days and just start generating some content and uh, the theme will help you with that. It'll help you help it look good. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to modify your theme using what they call widgets. And each theme uses different types of widgets, but your widgets are also be where you add your AdSense code when you are approved by Google AdSense for monetizing your blog. As always, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to leave comments and ratings. And please subscribe because it always helps me out when you subscribe to me on YouTube. And uh, go ahead and swing by the website and check out some of my other videos. Thanks again.